Hello, good evening. Good evening, I mean. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm really good, In... thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Oh. Thank you for asking, I mean. Okay, so, well, let's wait. It's raining. Aquí. It's raining. Oh, really? It's raining. Oh, it's raining. oh well. But what? Si well. energía. <laughs> yeah, do not worry. If you got disconnected, I mean, you can watch the video later, okay? I'm going to upload the video today so you can watch it, okay? So, okay. <clears throat> well, um, let's wait a couple of minutes for, you know, your classmates to join because it's already 8 p.m. now. So, let's see. Well, no, me, for today, we have a very interesting class. First, we are going to make a review about the present perfect, right? Then we are going, you know, to review some exercises about the exam, okay? Let me ask you something, Noemi. Have you finished the exam? ¿Ya terminaste el examen o lo has empezado a hacer? Yes, no? Uh, yes, yes, ya terminé. Okay, perfect. How was it? Tell me. ¿Cómo estuvo? Ah, uh, difícil. difícil. Very difficult. Difficult, perfect, very nice. Difficult, sí, yes. Okay, perfect. So, well, Naomi, you know, we're going, you know, to start with today. Just let me, you know, type your classmates. Let's see. Okay, so perfect. So, well, you know what I mean? If you have finished everything, it means that, I mean, you are going to get the certificate, right? And you're going to pass to the next, next module as long as you have passed all these exercises with 80%, okay? Now, let's see. Well, let me, you know, share you, you know, something about yesterday. Yesterday, Noemi, we were discussing about force and scenes, right? Let me, you know, move on. So here I have it. So, well, we have, you know, this topic. So we have for and scenes, right? So it says that for scenes, we use for point in time, right? In the past or a starting point, right? The continue until now, right? And for, we use for duration of time, right? So, en pocas palabras, since lo vamos a utilizar para un punto en el tiempo, right? en el pasado, y donde inició algo, ¿ok? <coughs> Puede incluso todavía seguir en el presente. Y for lo vamos a ocupar para una duración de tiempo, ¿ok? For example, for six years, right? So, that's a duration. Now, we have here some examples. I have been living in Spain since 2012, ¿ok? Since 2012, so means, you know, a starting point, right, in the past, a specific point. So, a year, podemos mencionar un año, ok, el año va a ir directo para since, ok. And for the numbers of the years, ok. So, since va a ir para el año específico, ok, que lo vamos a utilizar, y for, para cuántos años, ok, el número de años, right. You see? I have been living in Spain for six years, okay? Like this one. And here we have it. So four is for period of time, right? For numbers and time word. This is okay, when we measure the duration of something or how long it lasts, okay? It has start point and end point and can be used in different tenses, okay? So for example, we have, I studied English in Ireland for two years, you see? El número de años, right? I'll be there for around two months, okay? Estoy mencionando el número de meses, you see, el número. So, los números van siempre en for, okay? En for, los números de tiempo, right? So, we have this one, for 10 minutes, okay? Número 10, okay? For eight hours, five days, for six months, okay? Like this one. And now we have since, okay? Since, dice que es a starting point, okay? Pon el punto de inicio, okay? Un tiempo o una fecha, wey. And with something, 
Well, when something started in the past and continue on till now, right? Cuando algo inició en el pasado y todavía continúa, es cuando ocupamos since, right? Y since se usa en el present perfect, right? Es más común en el present perfect. For example, he hasn't eaten since seven o'clock, okay? I mentioned the hour, okay? Estoy mencionando la hour, el time, okay? I've been working here since June, okay? Estoy mencionando el mes, okay? We have been married since 2002, right? And you can see here some examples, right? Since say your clone, since Monday, since February, okay? Like this one. So guys, let's see. Welcome for the ones that are joining today. So guys, let me ask you, do you have any question about foreign scenes? Yes, no? Yes, no? Everything no, teacher. Good? Perfect. Very nice. Okay, now guys, let's see. I have here an exercise for you, okay? Let me share you. Let's see, I have it here. So guys, let's make a review and see how good we are in this, okay? Let's see. Okay, so perfect. So this exercise, let me share you the screen right now. So guys, we are going to make this exercise, okay? since and for okay so we have this example okay so sarah has lived in paris 1995 what what do you think guys is the correct answer for or since for for okay are you sure yes for or since guys Recordemos que for vamos a mencionar el número de años, ¿ok? Y en since, sí. se menciona el año. Perfect. Now, what about ah, this one? Ah, ok. Exactly. Okay. Now, Paul has lived in London 10 years. For or since? For. 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 Very nice. Perfect. Ok, guys. Now, we are going to continue but... with this exercise, but we are going to do yeah. it at Lama, ¿ok? So, let me share Teacher. you. Yeah. O sea que no es que mencione los números, sino que mencione el número de años, no el año. Exactamente, el número ah, de años es okay. por. Y since es el año, perfect. Now, el guys, año, ah, okay, yeah, let, thanks. Let me share you this exercise, okay? Let me send you to the WhatsApp so you can get it, okay? Let's see. Okay, guys. So now I have shared you the link, okay? Okay, so I've, I've seen that some of you guys are not going to be connected today because of the rain, okay? So I can see that. Now, let's see. Okay, so you have the exercise right now, okay, guys? So you can make it. Okay. So guys, let's start doing this exercise. Once you finish, please send the results to the WhatsApp group, okay?
Okay. Once you finish, guys, please send the exercise. Have we finished, guys? Yes, no. <clears throat> okay, perfect. So I have Eduardo. Very nice, Eduardo. So we got it. Now, let's see. So, guys, one more time. Let me share you the screen for you okay let me share you the presentation okay so one more time going to explain you for the ones that are joining now welcome so we have here right so guys four and seams okay what are the differences four as you can see here okay i see noemi very nice perfect salvador jennifer perfect guys i like it so guys let's see one more time, four, remember, we mentioned the number of the years, okay? Yeah. For example, two years, 10 years, the name of the number of the months, okay? El número de tiempo, okay, chicos, el número de tiempo. Y en since, no nos confundamos, since, vamos a mencionar el mes o el año, okay? El año, okay? El año. So, podemos decir for two years, y con since, since, uh, for example, 20... 22, right? An example, okay? Now, guys, let's see. Let move, let's move on, okay? So, guys, do you remember the present perfect? We were discussing about the present perfect as well, right? So, this is a very common topic, okay? So, present perfect, remember, first of all, guys, we have here the rules, okay? So, in order to create a question, first we use have or has, okay? The past, uh, past participle, okay, the verb and the complement, okay? So we have this example. She has worked in the bag for five years, okay? You see, guys, four, okay? We have had the same car for 10 years, okay? So in few words, guys, we use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present, okay? Acciones, chicos, que iniciaron en el pasado, pero que todavía continúa, ¿ok? Eso es cuando ocupamos el present perfect, ¿ok? So, perfect, I'm seeing some of you sending perfect the results, ¿ok? And here we have some other example. So, guys, one more time, ¿ok? Vamos a explicarlo. Para hacer una oración afirmativa con el present perfect, guys, first of all, is el subject, ¿ok? Subject, then have or has, ¿ok? Then... We add the verb in past participle, okay? Verb, past participle, and the complement. For example, guys, subject, let's see, she, okay? In she, you know that we use has. She has, and verb in past participle, let's see, she has um, leave, and the complement. In London, for, let's see, for five years, okay, five years, okay? That's an example, you see? Negative, guys, negative, subject, have or has, okay, it's the same one. Then we add not, okay, not. Then the same one, verb past participle and complement. For example, guys, I, subject, 
I, you know, that is for have, right? I have not, or you can say guys haven't, okay? That is, you know, very common and better, haven't, okay? And the verb in past participle, I haven't, let's see, played, okay? Played since, let's see, 2020, you see? Got it, guys? Any questions so far? No? Okay, guys, now we have no. had, inter perfect, interrogative, guys. Have or has, then the subject, okay? Then the verb in past participle, the complement, and finally, we add the question mark, okay? O signo de interrogación. For example, have, okay? Have you, subject, verb in past participle, play, let's see the same, play, Complement soccer before. Have you played soccer before? This one, you see? Like this one, guys. Now, well, this is something that we have seen so far, okay, guys? So now let's move on. We have this one already. You know that already, we are going to place already, guys, always after have, okay, or has. Vamos a agregar already, chicos, después del have or has, right? And well, we usually remember that or are for positive sentence, right? Affirmative sentences, okay? When we want to mention that something has happened, okay, recently. And yet, guys, yet, you know that we are going to add at the end, okay? And yet is for interrogative or uh, negative questions, right? So now, guys, let's see. Well, we have these questions, okay? that I want you to discuss, okay? Let's see, uh, let me send you this photo, okay? So we can discuss this question, okay? Guys, these questions are in past and in past perfect, okay? So you have to know how to answer, okay? So let's see, guys, let me, well, we are 15 tonight, very nice. Let me divide you in groups, okay? So we can, you know, discuss about this. Let's see, okay, perfect. Uh, let's make four then. Okay, guys. So now, please accept the invitation and let's discuss this question. Let's see, guys. Please. I have sent you the a screenshot, well, the photo to the WhatsApp group borrow so you can take a photo on a screenshot, right?
Hello, Salvador. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we are going about to stop the group. So let's see. Let me 